This edition of the Spanish Super Cup feels a little weird. It should. The competition is taking place in Saudi Arabia and will consist of two semifinals and a final on Sunday. Yet, this is a trophy that Barcelona regularly capture, and it could be an important way to get the team back on the right track in the new year. Hi, I'm Dan Hilton, and this is the Barcelona Podcast YouTube Exclusive. Holding Spanish competitions outside of Spain, particularly a country that is more than a six-hour flight away, is an indication that this year's edition of the Spanish Super Cup is largely about money. With the exception of last season when Barcelona met Sevilla in Tangier, the competition has always been decided by a two-legged final. Not just speaking of the location, the additional two teams also mean more money as the competition is now contested by the winners and runners-up of the Liga, and the winners and runners-up of the Copa del Rey. This means that if Barcelona are going to hoist their 14th Supercopa de España, they will need to beat Atletico Madrid and the winner of Valencia and Real Madrid. If history is any indication, Barcelona has historically been the superior team in the competition. The Spanish Super Cup has only been around since 1982, but there were other tournaments between the La Liga champions and the Copa del Rey winners. The Copa del Generalismo, Copa de Campeones, Copa Presidente FAF and Copa Iva Duarte were also competitions contested between 1940 and 1953 that are all arguably the predecessors of the Spanish Super Cup. Barcelona's first Spanish Super Cup win came in the second edition of the competition, winning 3-2 on aggregate against Athletic Bilbao. Goal scorers included Jose Ramon Alexanco, Francisco Lobo Carrasco, and Juan Carlos Rojo at the Sema Mess in the first leg. A more famous name, Kini, came off the bench in the second leg. But it is cool to reminisce about Carrasco and Alexanco, who combined for more than 500 Blagrana appearances. Barcelona didn't again take home the trophy until Johan Cruyff was in charge of the Dream Team, when they won four in six years starting in the 1991 season. This is where the names become a little more familiar to this modern generation. Guillermo Amor, Jose Maria Baquero, Julio Salinas, Chiqui Bezirestan, Christo Stoichkov, and Ronaldo, as well as lesser names like Giovanni, Juan Antonio Pizzi, and Ivan de la Peña. This is the list of the goal scorers in those four years, as Barcelona took home the 1991, 1992, 1994, and 1996 Spanish Super Cups. The club would need to wait nine seasons before they won the cup again in 2005, beating Real Betis 4-2 on aggregate. The 3-0 demolition in the first leg in Seville was enough, with goals by Ludovic Juli, Samuel Eto'o, and Ronaldinho. Eto scored again in the second leg of the Camp Nou. The next season was a repeat as the midfield trio of Xavi, Deco, and Diago Mata powered Barcelona past city rivals Espanyol. A three-peat came for the Blagrana from 2009 to 2011, with the 2011 edition being the most infamous of the three because it also happened to be against Real Madrid. Barca won 5-4 on aggregate and Lionel Messi was the star. The first leg was a 2-2 tie at the Bernabeu, and after goals from Andres Iniesta, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, and one from Karim Benzema in the 82nd minute, the match at the Camp Nou was all tied up. But again, it was time for that magical man. In the 88th minute, Messi met a cross from Adriano and slotted past Iker Casillas for a title that doesn't mean much, but it was a reminder for Madrid who would be owning Spanish football for the next decade. The title went to Barcelona again in 2013, 1-1 on away goals against Atletico Madrid, and 2016 in a 5-0 aggregate route of Sevilla, with a 5-1 aggregate loss to Ernesto Valverde's Athletic Bilbao side sandwiched in between. Barcelona again took home the trophy last season for their 13th title, 2-1 2-1 winners over Sevilla in Morocco. The goals were scored by Gerard Piquet and Ousmane Dembele after Pablo Sarabia struck first for Sevilla in the ninth minute. Since Real Sociedad won the first Spanish Super Cup in 1982, their first and only, Barcelona has also been runners-up 10 times. Real Madrid, meanwhile, has 10 titles and 5 runner-ups. Other winners of the competition include 3 from Deportiva La Coruña, 2 from Atletico Madrid, 2 from Athletic Bilbao, and 1 from each of Sevilla, Valencia, Real Zaragoza, Mallorca, and Real Sociedad. Messi is the all-time goal scorer in the competition with 13 goals, followed by Raul, Stoichkov, and Bajiristan. Interestingly enough, Bajiristan won the competition 5 times with 3 different teams, the first with Real Sociedad, 3 with Barcelona, and 1 with Deportiva La Coruña. Barcelona win trophies. So the Spanish Super Cup doesn't mean nearly as much as the Champions League, La Liga, or even the Copa del Rey. In recent seasons, the Champions League is seemingly the only trophy that matters. But if Barcelona do capture their 14th Super Copa de España, maybe Kool-Aid should cherish it. Clubs that take trophies for granted usually wind up having a humbling period without them. Ask Manchester United or AC Milan. It's tough to end the video on a sour note, but let's be honest, that's the same note this started on. For much more hopeful content, Check out some of our other videos on this channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, Forza Barca!